Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to the From the Depths launcher! More specifically, the launcher that was added back in beta test 3.1.6 and is still here in 3.1.7, which contains all the From the Depths related links you could possibly want, including the social media, the merch store, the art thing, and in particular, uh, all the things like this, uh, well, the, the, the updates and all that stuff, and also looks like workshop stuff, and bug warnings, and all that kind of stuff. So that's very nice. Can I please, thank you, get back up here. So this is not going to be a detailed uh, patch notes video because there's, like, all, most of the changes are small and most of the things, um, that, uh, are, is in, uh, beta test 3.1.6 and 3.1.7 uh, are fixes, so we're not actually going to cover that. There are exactly three things we're covering today. That is, well, the launcher, which we've kind of already done. Uh, the new breadboard mechanic, mechanic. There's a prefab added to the game, uh, which is an example of how to add uh, different uh, sounds, uh, triggerable sounds, uh, to your craft using the breadboard, which unfortunately I'm still very ignorant of. And I am desperately unmotivated to learn, because the breadboards are just too complicated for me. And uh, the third thing is some new craft which have been added. Um, almost all of which share the feature of uh, having really big, obnoxious, huge missiles on them. So without further ado, I will see you uh, in the game proper after I hit this button. Okay, so here we are uh, on the main menu proper. And uh, first things first, you'll notice it's the beta test over there, that's how you know we're in beta test. And the second thing you'll notice is this alert box, which has nothing to do with the, the video at all. That's a mod I currently have activated, um, because it's a mod I'm going to review at some point. I just spoiled uh, my own video schedule. But we're going to hop into the designer and we're going to, first of all, show off... Ah, we're going to show off uh, the breadboard prefab. And uh, a little warning to those of you who are not particularly fond of anime, it's anime themed. Well, it's not anime themed, to be fair, although uh, Nick is doing himself no favors by picking this. Uh, for those of us who've suspected that uh, Nick Smart has become a weeaboo, yes, I know that's a mean thing to say. Uh, so, here is the prefab. It is in the control section, and you know, for example, is a freaking VTuber or something like it. So you stick this on here. Hi. Uh, and there's already some uh, some uh, anime stuff. It is a breadboard. And this is what it looks like. So it um, basically there's a condition. And uh, the, I have no idea how breadboards work, man. Like, I, I don't know. Like, what the hell is... I See, I don't even know how to move navigate, navigate the screen. And basically... The conditions happen and the, the breadboard says stuff, so we go here and we can turn this on and then, I don't know, we spawn in, where is it? Uh, where's the freaking Marauder? Where's the Marauder? Give it to me. Marauder got updated actually, it's slightly more expensive and um... <laughs> So, um, yeah, this particular kind of voice, uh, mod, mod, well, voice thing, yeah, goodness me, the missile launch is, so yeah, I am not into anime or this particular kind of voice, so, uh, this is physically painful for me, but to those of you who like it, well, Nick is looking out for you. Oh my god, please sh sh shut up. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering, um, that is not, firstly, that's not the only way to play sounds, and secondly, you are not restricted to that voice. This, this is an example prefab. Um, you can use, well, if you stick this on, please stop talking. Anyway, so this is hashtag Miho strong attack. So for instance, it's basically how this works is, is that there is a folder 
in your From the Depths Documents folder that's just labeled Sounds. And if you stick MP3s in there and name them, uh, put a hashtag in front of their name, you can use them. And it would be a really cool of me if I had set that up ahead of time, but I only remember that just now. So yeah, I'm not very memorable right now. Wow, that's, uh, that was a backhanded uh, insult to myself. I didn't even realize till now. Okay, so there's that. That is a thing. And by the way, you can accomplish exactly the same thing. Where is it? Decorations. Where's the sound block? Here it is. So if we go here, it's hashtag something. You can uh, stick some kind of URL in there, play sound, and you can trigger these sound blocks with the ACBs if you're like me and you don't know how to use breadboard. Okay, so now that's out of the way, uh, let's look at um, some of the new craft that have been added to the game. And uh, so, most of you will probably remember that um, huge missiles are a re reasonably recent addition to the game, and I am ambivalent about them simply because they're just obnoxiously big. I am not one of those people who think that bigger is always better. I generally do not like building uh, large things in From the Depths because, well, oh, Deacon's hell, my flatmate is building something. Oh my freaking god. Okay. But anyway, they're here and they're here to stay. And the first of these things that have been added, well, I might have missed some things, but uh, these are the things that have definitely jump jumped out at me. And the first one is, uh, the Onyx Watch have two new uh, vehicles. The first of which is the Javelin, which is uh, built by uh, none other than my buddy Blarent, who is a cottle and a moderator on uh, uh, my Discord server. So we go here, can you please be colored, thank you. And so immediately, uh, you see this has large missiles, well not large, but huge missiles, that are cunningly hidden under the deck, using spin blocks. Where's the spin block? There it is. I actually was trying to do something like this um, not too long ago. I failed miserably, and as you can probably tell, Blarant has succeeded. So yeah, and um, thankfully the javelin is not... Uh, Thankfully, the Jav- like, I have no idea if you can hear that hammering, but I can hear it, so... This is what- this is my life now. So the Javelin is not incredibly scary, simply because uh, those, um... Those huge missiles don't have signal processors, although they do have a rotten habit of coming straight back down uh, on target, so... Who knows? If I- I'm not doing a good job of uh, saying how scary this thing is, because believe me, it is scary. If you do not have good uh, countermeasures, this thing is going to hurt you. It's going to hurt your feelings. <sighs> oh, here we go, and uh, yeah, we're about to see what exactly these things do uh, to a poor squishy little cruiser. And wait for it. Yep, so... Uh, I yep, we're not quite AI dead, but we might as well be. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Javelin. That's uh, one of a number of craft now which uh, have huge missiles and aren't afraid to use them. But um, on another note, uh, the, uh, the Onyx Watch now has their boss craft, uh, the Stronghold, which is a little bit ridiculous, to be perfectly honest with you. And it is sneaky, so... You see, it's like it's uh, 1.4 million materials. It's a, uh, it's a big thing. It's got a lot of uh, big stuff on it. It's basically a bulwark that uh, was fed a lot of growth hormones and uh, grew sideways as well as lengthways. So yeah, this is. It looks pretty cool, actually. It's like it is uh, gloriously excessive. And you might be looking at this thinking, like, oh man, it's got a lot of guns, so the guns are the scary bit. No, it's, uh, it's not the guns which are the scary bit, it's got huge missiles as well, because these damn things are the new meta, because they're almost impossible to shoot down. And it's also got huge torpedoes, it's got four of them as a matter of fact. Huge torpedoes that um, tend to delete things uh, from existence, and so if we, for instance, spawn in... Uh, the previously biggest thing that uh, the Onyx Watch had, the Bulwark, 
uh, you can see what kind of uh, damage these darn things do. Bulwark looks funky in Steel Striders, guys. So here we go. Huge missiles do huge damage. Well, no, that wasn't even the huge missiles. These are the huge missiles. So that's ridiculous. And uh, these huge torpedoes are one of my newest worst nightmares, I have to say. Simply because they're so huge and they do... Well, they will look at this nonsense. Yep, so, uh, yeah, um, not much point, um, really, like, admittedly, each one of those things is, like, the cost of an, of an entire aircraft to fire, but, uh, yeah, it's a horrible thing to be surprised by, I would say, and, uh, it does mean that if you, really, if you're up against the Onyx Watch these days, if you skimp on the missile or torpedo defense, uh, you are in serious, serious trouble, because now they have any number of craft which has, uh, well, even the Bulwark has large torpedoes, so, uh, that's something to be aware of. Also, the Bulwark is so much smaller and cheaper than the Stronghold, it's not even funny. Okay, it is a little bit funny. So anyway, uh, that's the Stronghold, and it is, well, it's about to delete the Bulwark from existence completely, because these... These things make such big holes in the side of craft that they're actually really likely um, to... Oh, Deacon's hell, look at this property damage right here. They're actually really likely to just swim straight into the hole left by a previous one. So, that's terrifying. And speaking of terrifying, um, the Steel Striders have a new... have a new friend. So, they're over here in the hard section. It's the Basking Shark, and... Um, I believe this also, um, was this made by, nope, it wasn't made by Blarant, this was made by Skyrox. And, uh, once again, yes, it is the huge missile meta, and these things are particularly cancerous because they are huge thumper missiles. And so, since we were using the Bulwark as a, uh, target dummy already, uh, we might as well do it again. Because the Basking Shark is just... It's a little bit ridiculous. Little bit ridiculous. It's got that turret there. And, yep, so you see this thing. I believe this is a remote-guided missile with a lot of uh, solid... Uh, what do you call it? Solid reinforced bodies. That's a thumper. And it goes... Whee! And... Thumper damage past a certain point. I... Look at this... Not Lathrix was testing vehicle, uh, not vehicles, uh, missiles like this just the other day, and they're they're completely stupid. You see that their only weakness is that um, that thump uh, damage doesn't spread across sub objects, so it kind of removes the entire turret, and yeah, that's what happens. The Bulwark is actually probably more resistant to that kind of damage than anything else because it can do that. And uh, these things also take uh, a reasonably long century to reload, but once they do, uh, they fire again. No kidding, Borderwise. Deacon's hell also has large torpedoes, because why not? Why not? All the cool kids are doing it. All the cool kids are firing large torpedoes and huge missiles. Uh, and speak of the devil, there it is again. So yeah, these things hurt like hell, and um, I begrudge them that. They're not impossible to deal with, but they're very difficult. Because they're remote guided, they, well, there one again. They just delete entire sections of hull like this, and they ruin this guy's, oh, that was the screenshot button. They ruin the uh, tea party that's going on over here. So yeah, the good news about the Baskin Shark is that you can probably uh, already notice the thing's over a million materials, but it has taken 2% damage uh, from the Bulwark, even with most of its turrets missing. Its defenses aren't very good. This is a real glass cannon. Most of the, um, believe that this thing actually has really big uh, ammo compartments as well. 
I think it does. I think it does. Yep, it has huge ones. And, uh... Yeah, like, um... So, yeah, that's uh, another thing to look out for. It's another bleeding shark that is, uh... Really scary. And also, there's two new Scarlet Dawn craft that, um... I'm not entirely sure are that new. I think they're new because they don't actually have their correct um, spawning altitude uh, loaded yet, which is why I am going to load them in uh, using this menu instead. So we go here, Scarlet Dawn, and first up is the Gauss, or Gauss. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here we are. Here's the Gauss. It's spawny wind, Scarlet Dawn colors. And the Gauss is a front sider. It's a thruster craft. It's got big guns and it cannot lie. And let's spawn in the bulwark again because it's hilarious to have this thing get shot at. <gasps> Wait, no! Not the bulwark. Don't spawn in the bulwark. Let's spawn in the stronghold. Just to see what happens. Well, I know what'll happen. The stronghold will probably get bodied uh, by the gorse because, you know, that's what happens. Also, the gorse doesn't uh, hang out in the water and just let large torpedoes come after it. I do love the little swirly things that are added to some Skull Dawn craft. It's great. Oh yeah, and uh, yep, of course. Yep, gorse is a new thing uh, because of course, of course, it has huge missiles. Because why not? Why not? Why not? Also, a lot of big guns. I'm actually very curious to see who wins this one. Uh, probably the stronghold, because it just um, it just knocked uh, the gorse straight into the water. Actually, the stronghold uh, proceeded to take... How much damage do you take over there? Uh, a lot. Uh, yeah, huge missiles. Uh, I would be snarky about how balanced they are, but... Um, yeah, this is this is the meta now, people. It's who throws the most. What the? Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh wait. Uh, I was about to say somebody forgot uh, to stick uh, ballast tanks um, on the what do you call it on the huge missiles on the stronghold, but apparently that doesn't matter. Apparently that doesn't matter a jot at all. That's uh, huge missiles. I love the new meta. How about you? That was sarcastic. I am ambivalent to the new meta. Here we go. And let's my last but not least here is the parallax, which for a change is less than one million materials. And now we'll spawn in the bulwark. So once again, huge missiles all around. And once again. Uh, what have we got here? These are... I really do not like that thumper heads and heat um, warheads on missiles have exactly the same model. Um, that's annoying. It means you can't tell by looking what exactly they are. Yep, that's a thumper. Or at least I think it's a thumper. I think it... No, it's a heat warhead. But yep, yeah, that's um, that's uh, that's thump damage for you at its best. Is that's what it do? So yeah, that's basically um, the main thing, the sneaky thing that isn't in uh, the patch notes uh, for this uh, for this particular update, 3.6 or 3.7. Um, what was it? No, 3.1.6 slash 3.1.7. Sorry, is that there's huge missiles all over the place. You can't get away from the things. Like, there were some vehicles being updated to have them uh, before this update. Like, uh, the Great White had them, for one thing. I'm actually trying to remember if the Megalodon has them. I could Let's spawn in a Megalodon and just see. Why, why not? It means I can put Megalodon in the thumbnail. Not in the thumbnail, the tags. What am I talking about? I think it does have huge missiles, actually. Because, again, why not? Why not? Oh yeah, Megalodon has particle cannons now, in case you were wondering. Yep, uh... No, those are large missiles. Those are large. Wait, are they? 
Nope, they're huge. Of course they're huge. No, they're large. What? Nope, they're large. Never mind. Weirdly enough, it looks like the Megalodon is the one thing that doesn't have huge missiles now. That is funny to me. Not that it needs them. Deacons. Oh. Uh, okay then. Well. Well, the, the, the lesson here is, is that huge missiles are a good thing to use against the Megalodon because it's the only darn thing that can get through its lamb system. If I sound salty, it's because I don't know. I don't know. I just am today. So yeah, that's basically it for um, uh, the sneaky bits of the 3.1.7 uh, that the patch notes aren't telling you. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there are neat perks. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.